Chapter 5 So-so? Abba calls out. She turns around and around the other way. Yoo-hoo! Crickets. Appa scratches her head and looks around the other side of the giant sequoia. Behind is a cliff face made of chalky white stone covered with vines and shrubbery. Abba just can't understand how So-So has disappeared. Do you know? She calls again. So-So, where are you? She hears a muffled rumble coming from deep within the cliff face. And then the leaves of vines and shrubberies pull back like a curtain, revealing a familiar pair of big sparkling eyes. Here, Abba, I found something. Come on. Soso leads Abba past the curtain of vines into a tunnel right into the cliff. A creepy cave? Should we go in? Definitely. Do you have your flashlight? Abba pulls one out from her fourth tushy pocket and switches it on before giving it to Soso. Soso goes first into the passageway. The path gets darker and darker and becomes narrower and narrower. Suddenly, Abba smacks her forehead right on a stalactite hanging down from the cave ceiling. Ouch! Soso swings the flashlight over to Abba, who rubs the purple welt emerging from her forehead. Something curious behind Abba grabs Soso's attention instead. Cave paintings, huge eagles, woolly mammoths, saber-toothed tigers. Again, a strange rumble resonates this time sending vibrations throughout the cave and dust all over Abba's and Soso's heads. Black. What do you think that rumble is? An avalanche? An earthquake? Asks Abba. It sounds like a giant snore, replies Soso. Another huge snore followed by a loud snort, sends shockwaves throughout the cave, and a cascade of long white rocks comes crashing down at Soso's feet, sounding like a skeleton tap dancing on a marimba. What's this? Soso wonders aloud. She points the flashlight at the pile and gasps. A pile of bones, she exclaims. Soso picks up a bone from the floor and shows Abba. Bones? Uh, that's kinda creepy, remarks Abba. Kinda? Well, really creepy. Super creepy. But then Soso spots something even more curious. Check this out, Abba. This bone has five holes in a line. Abba takes another look and notices something else. Weird. It has a notch cut out of one end. See? What do you think that is? Hmm. Abba blows a steady stream of air across the notch and changes the pitch by placing her fingers on the holes in different patterns. And it sounds just like an eagle call, to which Jean-Pierre calls back from the distant sky. Call, call. Super cool, Abba. A spotted pterodactyl whistle. Abba tries playing the bone flute again F-G-A-C-D, remarks Abba. A pentatonic scale! 
Ab is delighted and elaborates the notes into a simple melody, even doing a little jig. And meanwhile, behind her, a pair of big blinking eyes pop out of the dark above her. Um, Abba? Yes, so so. Uh, did you notice that the roaring, snoring sound stopped when you played the spotted pterodactyl whistle? No, but here, listen to this jaunty tune I just made up. And Abba keeps on playing, totally and utterly oblivious to the giant, saber-toothed tiger cub with massive, sharp fangs towering above her, licking her lips. An enormous slimy drool drips from the massive fangs right onto Abba's head. 